Hi everyone and welcome to the Movie Summary Channel. Today I would like to talk to you about the film Norbit, a 2007 American comedy film, directed by Brian Robbins, and co-written by, co-produced by, and starring Eddie Murphy. Childhood friends Norbit Albert Rice and Kate Thomas, living at an orphanage doubling as a Chinese restaurant called The Golden Wonton owned by Mr. Wong, are separated when Kate is adopted. They also play married each other with ring pops and lived happily ever after for two weeks until Kate's adoption. Five years later, Norbit is rescued from playground bullies by a tough, overweight girl Raspatia Latimor, who becomes his protector from the other bullies and best friend, but eventually grows into an arrogant and tyrannical woman. They marry each other as adults, but Raspatia begins insulting and controlling him, especially accusing him for adjusting her car seat when she is driving her car. Norbit is also belittled by Rasputia's three older brothers Big Black Jack, Blue, and Earl, working as a bookkeeper at their construction company. The Latimor brothers run a security business, instilling fear in the entire community except Mr. Wong, who refuses to sell them his business and not hesitate to draw out his spear and pistol to fend them off. Norbit catches Raspatia cheating on him with her tap dance instructor Buster Perkin, and calls her the Queen of Whores which results her into chasing him through the neighborhood. After the chase, Norbit throws away his wedding ring and vents his anger about Rasputia's infidelity at a puppet show for the orphans. He is stunned to see Kate for the first time since childhood, and his affection for her reignites as he learns she is buying Mr. Wong's orphanage, but is disappointed to learn she is engaged to a man named Dion Hughes. With help from ex-pimp friends Pope Sweet Jesus and Lord Have Mercy and other townspeople, Norbit meets Kate without Rasputia's knowledge and along the way, Kate teaches Norbit how to ride a bike. Dion attempts to leave town without Kate, having no intention to help her run the orphanage, but the Latimor brothers persuade him to help them to turn the orphanage into a strip club instead. The brothers dupe Norbit into getting Kate to sign papers to renew the restaurant's liquor license in the Latimor's name. Norbit's meeting with Kate leads to helping rehearse her wedding, where a kiss between them makes her reconsider marrying Dion. Norbit returns home to learn Raspatia witnessed their kiss and threatens violence towards Kate if he ever sees her again. When Kate later learns about the deal from Dion, she goes to confront Norbit and sees him being held prisoner by Raspatia, who masterminded the orphanage plot in their basement. Norbit reluctantly, deliberately drives her away to protect her from Raspatia. Satisfied, Raspatia lies that Norbit has tricked Kate since she came back to town. Heartbroken, Kate runs away, and Norbit decides to permanently leave town. Then he finds a letter from the private investigator he hired, discovering Dion is rich from various divorce settlements. The Latimors reveal their plan to Norbit, and lock him in the basement again. Norbit escapes by bike, reaching the wedding just in time to inform Kate of Dion's schemes. Though his proof of Dion's divorce settlements was destroyed after falling into a pond, Norbit has a plan B and reveals Dion's ex-wives and children, and Dion flees as they give chase, which results in the Latimor's plan being blown up in their faces. The Latimors attack Norbit for permanently ruining their plans, but the townspeople take up arms to protect him as Norbit's bravery inspiring them to stand up to the Latimors. Raspatia fights her way through the crowd and prepares to kill him, but Mr. Wong harpoons her in the rear, causing her to run at sonic speed in pain out of town. With their strongest family member flees, the Latimors finally accept defeat and are chased out of town while Norbit and Kate reconcile. They buy the orphanage and marry under the same tree where they played as children years ago and finally live happily ever after. Raspatia and the Latimors were never seen or heard from again, but several rumors said that they move to Mexico and open up their strip club, El Niplopolis, where Raspatia becomes their most popular and lucrative stripper.